So also, uh, I'll go through uh, smart actions, which was one of the new things that Sanjay talked about earlier today. Mm -hmm. uh, smart actions is basically to help you do all the tasks that you really you know, don't want to have to deal with on a daily basis. So typically you'll get suggestions listed in here based on your behavior. So the more you use your phone, the more it's going to learn about you. So right now, this was one of the rules that it already suggested to me, which is low battery saver. Mm -hmm. So what it does is it recognizes when my battery is less than 20% and my device is not charging or plugged into any source, it's going to take the following actions. It's going to set my display brightness to 25%, turn my GPS off, and disable any background syncing of uh, data. Mm -hmm. Just to try to prolong the device, you know, typically when you're at 20%, you start to get worried about, you know, oh, my device is going to go out on me because no one can handle being without their cell phones in this day and age. So, also, just because this was a suggested rule does not mean that I can't customize it. So every one of these options is still customizable by me. So I can still adjust when the battery, uh, when this option will start come, uh, appearing to me. Uh, charging, I can say any source, wall, USB, not charging. I mean, everything is customizable. And if, mm -hmm. So if I just want to you know, edit this rule quickly, I can just slide this off, mm -hmm. and that part of the rule is no longer active. It's still present, so if I want to just add it back later, it's simple. I just add it back, it comes right back. And how, how deep can these actions go? Like, how so, complicated can you get with creating one? So I'll show you the full list, actually. Okay. Okay, so when you add a rule, you can add a sample, start from scratch, or copy from existing rule. So any rule that's currently active, you can use. So if I want to start from scratch, I have a set of triggers and actions. So triggers are where we're going to enable the rule, or the actions, and uh, actions are what's actually going to happen. So these are some of the list of the actions that you can, or the triggers that uh, will take place. Location, uh, time frame, battery level, charging, display, headphones, incoming call, missed call, Wi-Fi connect, Bluetooth connect, and motion detector. Okay. So you can get pretty specific and pretty creative with the rules that you can come up with. And they're, they're very helpful too. So, you know, I can incoming call, all incoming call are from the following numbers. I mean, it does provide you with a lot of options. Mm -hmm. So after you set up those, the trigger list is just as extensive. Send a text message, send notification, play a playlist, ringer volume, ringtone, wallpaper, launch application, launch website, display timeout, brightness, GPS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, background sync, airplane mode, and cellular data. The list you know, just goes on and on. Lots of options, lots of ability to customize. However, we're not going to just leave you hanging and have you come up with your own rules. So. For sample, we already provide with you with an extensive list of sample rules to get you started. So all these are uh, usable by are are usable at any time. Also, you can customize any one of these that you see fit. So, for example, sleep. You know, oh, this kind of works for what I need, but I can still I can change the time frame of it. You know, right. maybe I sleep more during the day than I do at night. You know, very customizable so depending on the user. Come on at a certain time of the day. Yep. It'll switch to sleep mode. Yep. So assuming, uh, so if I remove this. Okay, and I add the rule. So, as soon as the conditions for this are met, this will this uh, text right here instead of ready will say active. Okay. And then you'll also get a prompt up here in your status bar as soon as it's active. So you'll know when the rule is actually running. Okay. So it's completely customizable. Fantastic.